Hey everybody, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about this year's Audio Developer Conference. So two years ago, uh, while I was a student at Goldsmiths University, I actually went to the Audio Developer Conference for the first time. And uh, i got to say that it was one of the biggest inspirations and uh, just motivations for me to get into the industry uh, because it was my first time actually being around professional developers and uh, getting a sense of what sort of things that I needed to know to get into the industry and, uh, and, and also just hearing the talks from people, seeing what's on the cutting edge of uh, music tech and of audio. And with that being said, the, the past two years, so last year and, uh, and now this year, I've actually been helping to organize the conference. And uh, we have a really great program for you this year. And I just wanted to tell you a little bit about it as well as some of the different things that we're doing. Uh, so uh, once again, the Audio Developer Conference is a great place if you're looking to kind of meet up with other people that are in music tech, or if you're not even in music tech yet, if you're a student or a person looking to get into the industry, it's a great place to meet uh, some of the most influential people in this space. So you have... Uh, people from some of the biggest music tech companies in the world, like Ableton, Native Instruments, uh, Roly, and uh, and loads of other people that are gathering together to see what's on the cutting edge of, of music tech. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk you through the program a little bit. Uh, another thing that I should tell you just here at the very start is about the diversity scholarship. So one of the initiatives that we've been doing in collaboration with uh, with different companies through the years has been the diversity scholarship. And what we, the reason that we're doing this is that we want to give an opportunity for people uh, to attend the audio developer conference that are normally not able to attend. So underrepresented groups within the audio industry, uh, such as women, LGBT, uh, also the financially disadvantaged. Uh, so if you feel that you're in this group, uh, then, then what you can do is you can actually apply for a free ticket for the diversity scholarship. And uh, what you do is you just go to uh, juice.com slash ADC slash scholarship. And then you just click down here uh, where it says head here. And then it'll just open up a form where you can actually fill out some information. So it just asks you some basic questions just about why you feel that you would qualify for the scholarship. And uh, what we do is we look through these. And, uh, and and I'm also happy to announce that Google are actually sponsoring the diversity scholarship this year. So, uh, so it's a great opportunity uh, if you're not able to afford to come to the to uh, ADC, or if you feel that you are in an un underrepresented group within the audio industry, because we are trying to increase diversity in this uh, in this industry. So with that being said, let's talk a little bit about the program. So it's a really exciting program this year. And let me just, I actually got the schedule right here. So what we can do is we can just go down here. So the first day of the of ADC is actually workshops. And you have workshops that are begin, being given by some of the best people in the industry. So you have people from the Juice team, such as Ed Davies and Tom Pohl, who are really the two people that are kind of responsible for maintaining Juice at the moment. And they're doing a workshop on building uh, your first audio plugin. So who's better to tell you about building an audio plugin with Juice than the people that actually help to build and maintain Juice on a daily basis? Uh, then you have... Um, Digital Signal Processing by Zolt uh, Garam. I always pr mispronounce his, uh, his last name. I'm just going to say Zolt G. So sorry, Zolt, if you're watching this. Uh, and then uh, just scrolling down further, I'm not going to go through every talk here, but you also have uh, an introduction to Soul, uh, which is the new sound language from Julia Storer, who, who's the inventor of Juice, and uh, and also uh, Cesare Ferrari, uh, who's got the coolest name in the world, and he's the other person that helps to, uh, to work on Soul with Jules. Uh, so scrolling down a little bit further, we've got some really cool stuff uh, for, for all types of uh, developers. So you have uh, stuff, you have like loads of demos, you have uh, talks on deep learning, you have panels on product design from some of the top people in the industry. So Chris Randall uh, is one of the co-owners of a company called Audio Damage. And if you've ever seen 
the plugins from Audio Damage, you would know that they've got some of the best UIs in the in the world, uh, in the industry. And then you have Matt Jackson from Ableton, Mino Kodama from Native Instruments, and Nick Dicka from Sound Toys. And then scrolling down further, we have uh, loads of demos as well. So people that want to demonstrate their creations. Uh, then you have another great panel from Heather Rafter, who is one of the leading um, uh, lawyers, uh, law firms within the industry with Rafter Marsh. And they have a panel on um, raising money and selling uh, and, and selling your company. Uh, scrolling down further, let's see what else we have here. So you'll see that we have a uh, great keynote from Imogen Heap. And if you don't know about Imogen Heap, she's, uh, she's a fantastic performer. Uh, she performs with uh, these special kind of gloves called Mimu gloves. And, uh, and she's world famous for, uh, for her forward thinking um, views on performance. And she's given a keynote. And then later on, she's going to actually be performing a little bit later with, uh, along with Tim Exile. And Tim Exile is another person, great performer, very forward thinking in terms of, of music tech. And um, they're going to be performing on the Tuesday. And scrolling down a little bit further, we have some more stuff on machine learning. So we have uh, using dynamic time warping. We have uh, talks on uh, MIDI 2.0. Uh, where is that? So I'm looking for my MIDI 2.0 talk. It's in here somewhere. But we do have a talk on MIDI 2.0. And, uh, and that's going to be a groundbreaking talk because it's the first time that they're actually unveiling the new features of MIDI 2.0, uh, the biggest change coming to MIDI in uh, the past 30 years since MIDI was invented in the early 80s. And then we have a, a great talk from Nick Thompson uh, on Blueprint, which is a juice module that he uh, created where you can use React alongside Juice. And then uh, what else do we have here? So we have developing iOS, uh, uh, iOS music apps. We have another panel further down here with, uh, with my people from AudioKit. So we got Matthew Fetcher coming down from AudioKit along with uh, Henrik Lindberg. We have Matt Derbyshire from Focusrite and loads of people that are coming. So as you can see, uh, this is quite a loaded program and uh and so what you could do is you could actually go to uh, juice.com slash adc and you can see more about the program here is where you can register you have uh 50 off for uh academic uh student and and uh students and academic uh people that want to register and i think that's it so i know that's a lot to unload there but I hope that uh, you've, been, uh, you've enjoyed this talk and you found out a little bit more about the Audio Developer Conference. And I hope to see you there. And I will put all of these links below in the description. And I will see you next time.